What is the difference between menstrual periods and ovulation? And how does it link with fertility? Watch this video till the end to understand everything about fertility and women's biological cycle. To watch all the latest video on IVF, do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications each time we upload a new video. You have learned in your high school biology classes, hopefully if you were paying attention, that a fertile woman ovulates regularly, which is why she has a regular menstrual cycle and that the central key event in the menstrual cycle is ovulation, the release of a mature egg from a ripe ovarian follicle which normally occurs once a month. If your cycles are irregular, this suggests that you are not ovulating. This is called anovulation. And you can read more about this on our website. A common reason for this is PCOD, polycystic ovarian disease. And we have an entire section of PCOD on our website, which will help you know more about this. Another possible cause could be poor ovarian reserve. Visit our website to read more about this as well. However, you should also remember that just because your cycles are regular, that does not mean you are ovulating. For example, some women have LUF, luteinized unruptured follicle syndrome, where the follicle matures, but the egg remains trapped inside the follicle because it does not rupture. Also, just because your cycles are regular does not mean that you can assume that your fertility is normal either. As you get older, your ovarian reserve declines, which means the quality of your eggs may be good enough for you to get regular periods. But this does not mean the quality of eggs is good enough for you to be able to have a baby. The biggest problem, of course, is that you cannot see your ovulation and all you can see is your menstrual period. This is why women often worry about the quality of their menstrual flow, whether it's black or red, painful, scanty or heavy, and has clots. However, there is very little correlation between the quality of your menstrual discharge, ovulation, and fertility. So please don't get misled by this. One of the biggest problems is that there is very little education about human reproduction as a result of which most women remain completely clueless about the relationship between fertility, ovulation and the menstrual cycle. This is why you need to invest in information therapy so you understand the differences and don't end up jumping to the wrong conclusions. Need help in getting pregnant? Please send us your medical details by filling in the form at www.drmalpani.com slash free second opinion so that we can guide you. If you found this video to be helpful, then please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications each time we upload a new video. Thank you.